Today we're talking about Dark Hours, a game where you and your friends break into a museum attempting to steal as much loot as possible, but specifically the crown. However, while making your daring attempt, you will be encountered by one of a variety of different enemies, all with the goal of making sure you don't make it out alive. There is a free prologue as well as a demo available on Steam, which according to the developer Piece of Cake Studios, has over 2 million downloads and 1800 reviews, most of which being very positive. The original release date for Dark Hours was scheduled to be at the end of September 2024. However, Piece of Cake gave an announcement that changed the release date for Dark Hours, but also gave us a lot of information about what we can expect from the game. So if you enjoy scary horror games, especially ones that you can mess around in with your friends, then stick around because today we're talking about everything you need to know about Dark Hours and its upcoming early access launch. Let me first quickly introduce you to the developer of this game, Piece of Cake Studio. They are a small indie studio founded in 2015 by the now married couple Marine Freeland and Xavier Limiteur. Limit, Limiteur. Limiteur. And like Ember's games, the creators of Murky Divers, Piece of Cake is from France. They actually have two different teams, or labels as they call them, within their studio, and each of them works on a different type of game. They have Piece of Cake Studios, which works on co-op games like Dark Hours, and they also have Piece of Cake Fabulous, which works on fantasy games and stuff like that. With that said, let's see what they have to say about the early access launch of Dark Hours. When is the early access release? We know that we've been quiet lately, and many of you have been asking about the early access release date. Today, I'd like to share some insights on the development of Dark Hours over the past few months. When we began working on Dark Hours, all we wanted was to create a fun co-op horror game to enjoy with friends, and we didn't expect such an amazing reaction from you all. The enthusiasm you've shown for the game has been incredible. More than 2 million downloads for the demo and the prologue as I'm writing these lines. Mind blowing. And your excitement to see more is beyond what we ever dreamed of. With so many players on board, we definitely feel the pressure now. As the saying goes, with great power comes great responsibility. And we're aware of the high expectations for the early access release. Gosh, this is challenging, but we're dedicated to meeting those expectations and offering you a truly unique and fun co-op heist horror experience that lives up to your excitement. That's why we've taken the time to read all your messages and comments and feedback and to respond as much as we can on the Steam forums and our Discord. And yes, it takes time. We're also actively working on many new features that we want to have ready for early access. From this point forward, they start talking about different things they plan to add to the game, so let's talk about it. First off is some new models. Monsters. Currently, there are two different enemies that we know about, that being the Weeping Angel and the Ghoul Man, as I'm calling it. The Weeping Angel is this really terrifying witch statue that follows you and your team around, stopping only when you look at it, similar to Lethal Company's coil head. The Ghoul Man is this very tall black monster that doesn't always attack you when he sees you, but when he does, it's just about wraps for you. Now, of course, we want to see new monsters in the game. Two is definitely not going to cut it, especially for a game like this. I personally would like to see them add eight to ten new monsters. I think that would give us as players a lot of flexibility and a variety in the challenge that we experience. Especially if this is a game where you will only encounter one enemy at a time, adding more would just give us more reason to play the game for a longer period of time. <laughs> Excuse me. I just hope we don't have a whole bunch of crossover between the monsters and Dark Hours and those in other games. Kind of like what we saw with the Eye Shark and the Eye Guy in Murky Divers and Content Warning, respectively. That would actually be really sad. So you're running away from all these scary monsters, but why? Well, right now, your main objective is to steal the crown and make it out with as many people alive as possible. But in this announcement, we're told that they're going to be adding other missions outside of stealing the crown. I think the crown will still remain our main objective, but they will probably add a whole bunch of side objectives as well. Things like stealing a certain amount of gold necklaces or using the security camera to spot a ghoul man or different things like that. In the long run though, Piece of Cake might want to consider adding more main objectives outside of just taking the crown because I do think that'll get a little boring over time. Now the missions and monsters are probably what make the core of this game, but there are plenty other gameplay features outside of that that we were given information about. One of those is difficulty. There will be different levels that you can do from easy up to nightmare. I love this. This is going to 
going to give players so much more control over the type of experience that they want while they're playing this game. And this will also open up the types of achievements you can get in the game as well. They're also adding different customization options for colors and items. In Dark Hours, you actually start every game inside of the heist van, and this is probably where most of the customization is going to take place. In the van, you can pick different items for you to take with you on your heist, such as a crowbar or a hacker. Customization options could really mean anything. The most obvious, of course, is changing your suit color, but I hope they do a lot more than just that. And I definitely want them to add more items as well, maybe like an extra backpack or something to carry more items with you. They also are going to be adding procedurally generated maps, something they say is not so easy to do. I'm not a game developer, so I have no freaking clue. <laughs> a procedurally generated map, if you don't know, is just a random map that's created by the computer every time you create a new world or game. The biggest example of this would be the random world generation in Minecraft. I think PGMs will never not be a good thing to add inside of a game, and I think that will be no different with Dark Hours. Finally, they're going to add new gameplay items and features. This is in reference to items like the Polaroid camera, which apparently can be used to stun the ghoul man. Or there's other features like the security cameras, which I've heard can be used to keep an eye on the weeping willows in place of just looking at them. They can also add different ways for you to access certain parts of the museum. For example, in the prologue, you have to collect fuses and keys in order to progress your way through the heist. They can build upon this by adding trap doors or maybe items like key cards. This will just help add to the variety of challenge players will face. But that's a bit about the game itself and what we can expect from its launch, but when will that launch actually happen? Well, like I said at the start of the video, the original drop was scheduled for the end of September. So, like now. But this is what Piece of Cake had to say. This is to ensure we can bring you the best possible experience for you and your friends. So we've decided to reschedule the early access launch to the end of October. This extra time will allow us to add and polish all these exciting new features you've been asking for. We know the wait is going to be a bit longer than expected. Please bear with us. Personally, I'm unbothered by this delay. The more time, the better. And just like I said, when Zekers delayed the launch of Lethal Company V60, if it means that we, the players, get a better experience because of it, I'm all for it. That said though, we will get an official release date as well as an official price tag and hopefully more details about this game coming up on October 9th, so mark your calendars. Overall though, I'm very excited for this game to fully drop in early access. Have you played Dark Hours yet? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below, but as always, I really appreciate you guys for watching. Y'all take care of yourselves, you be easy, stay positive, and of course, I will catch you guys on the flip. Wow!